Ladies and gentlemen, it's David Hall here, founder and chief executive of the Idea Centre, and here to share with you some thinking that exemplifies the difference between continuous improvement and innovation, or what I prefer to refer to as discontinuous improvement. Now, continuous improvement is a wonderful thing, don't get me wrong, but it's not the primary focus for this particular video scribe. The beauty of continuous improvement is the simplicity of the model. Basically, if you look at improvement over time, what we do is get everyone in the organisation to look at what they're doing and see if they can't find ways in which they could do it better. It doesn't matter how small the incremental change, if you make enough of those incremental changes over time, it can add up into quite a sizable shift in the performance of the organisation. And it is classically referred to as a bottom-up process. Because the people who are best placed to identify how to do things better are the people doing the work themselves. And they are also the best people to implement the ideas that they've generated. Hence the bottom-up approach. The weakness of continuous improvement is actually the word better. Because what we're doing is looking at the world in which you're trapped. The world of what is. The way we do things around here. And incrementally making that better over time. This is not about transformation, this is about incremental change. When it comes to innovation, we're not interested in incremental change. What we want is a step change in the performance of the organisation. This is what I refer to as discontinuous improvement. What we're looking to do is to forget the world in which we're trapped, the more of the same, and find a parallel universe in which there is another world where things are completely transformed. And once we find that world, we want to bed it in and start the incremental continuous improvement on that world over time until we're ready for the next step function change. This isn't about doing things better. This is about doing things differently. And we don't need many step function changes in any year to make a dramatic impact on the performance of the organisation. And because you do not need many of these step function changes, surely you should choose them strategically. This isn't a bottom-up process. This has to be driven top-down. This is a leadership issue. We're going in pursuit of a parallel universe in which things are transformed. We then have to be able to create a vision of that new world, communicate that vision effectively to the entire organisation, and motivate, if not excite, everyone in the organisation to achieve and deliver it. This cannot be delivered without strong leadership. And it's leadership that need to take ownership of the innovation process. This is quite different from continuous improvement, which is more of a cultural revolution. We need as many people as possible involved in that incremental improvement process. Whereas with step function change, driving innovation, it can be done on a viral basis. It, it takes a small group of people to develop that vision. And then that vision needs to be driven and propagated through the organisation. But without strong leadership, that innovation is bound to underperform.